Hello, you're watching Mental Math Secrets, your secret weapon for success. And I have a question for you. Can you calculate 54 squared in your head? Keep watching to find out how. Hi, I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and today we're going to learn an incredibly useful little trick that uh, you can apply when you're on a standardized test or any kind of exam or any time you need to calculate the square of a number in the 50s. So in other words, if we wanted to calculate 54 squared uh, or you know 52 squared or 59 squared or anything in the 50s and we really rapidly need to calculate the square of that number I'm going to show you a process that takes about two seconds to get the answer um, in your head. First thing I want to say before we get there is for those of you who may not know when you square a number when you raise it to the power of 2 all you're doing is multiplying this number by itself so 54 squared really means 54 times 54 uh, 59 squared would just be 59 times 59. So the square is just a quick way of writing that down in shorthand way. So what we need to do to get the answer here, and you're going to just love how simple this trick is, is uh, basically the first thing you need to do is you need to take the number 25 and you need to add to it the second digit of your number. So 25 plus 4. And I know that all of you know what 25 plus 4 is, and that's 29. So you keep the number 29 sort of in your head. Uh, the second thing you need to do in your head mentally is you take the second number, the 4, and we square it. Now, when we get to big numbers like 54 squared, those are really difficult to do in your head by actually doing the multiplication 54 times 54. But all of you should know the squares of the single digit numbers. You know, 2 squared is 4, which means 2 times 2 is 4. 4 squared is just 4 times 4, and so 4 squared is 16. All right, so in order to calculate the answer, we just need these two little things that we do in our head. So the answer is going to be 29 16, 2,916. So that's what you would get if you took in your calculator 54 times 54. You would see 2,916. See how easy it is. Now, keep in mind, just to make sure you know, this only works for digits in the 50. So 59 squared, 57 squared, 52 squared, etc. And the first thing you do is you take the number 25 uh, and you add to it 4, which is the second digit here, we get 29. Then we take the second digit, we square it, 4 times 4 is 16, and we put them together, 29, 16. Okay, for our next problem, we're going to do 57 squared, and we do exactly the same process. We take the number 25, and we add to it 7. What is 25 plus 7? That's going to be uh, 32. So we write down 32, or we, in our head, think 32 in our head mentally. And then the second thing we do is we take the 7 and we square it, which is the second digit here. 7 times 7 is 49, so we in our head, we think 49. And then we put them together, and we're going to get 3,249. Now the next problem is 59 squared, which is 59 times 59. And I wanted to show you 59 squared because I wanted you to see that this process does not get any harder even as you get into the larger numbers. So what you're going to do is 25 plus 9. What is 25 plus 9? If you think for a second, you'll realize that that's 34. So we think 34 in our head. Second step is to take 9 squared. And you should know that 9 times 9 is... 81. So those are the only two things we need to formulate the answer. We put 34 together with 81, we get 3,481. Okay, our final little example to show how to square numbers in the 50s. Uh, we'll just take the number 25, same process as before, and add to it the, number, the second digit there, which is 2. That's easy enough. 25 plus 2 is 27. So we in our head think 27. And then the next thing we do is we take the second digit and we square it. So 2 squared is 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. But here's the only thing you need to really remember when you do this problem. When you get to the second step and you square this digit, if you get a single digit answer, as in the number 4, you need to write it as 0, 4. You need to write it as two digits. That's the only little gotcha in this whole technique. And when you put it all together, same way as we've been doing before, you'll get 27, 0, 4. 2,704. So just remember when you get to the second step and you square it uh, like 
a minute ago we did 59 squared so 9 squared was 81 we got a two digit number for that before that we did 57 squared so we squared the second number 7 times 7 is 49 that was two digits if we do 52 squared we have to write it as 0 4 if we do 51 squared because 1 times 1 gives us 1 we have to write it as 0 1 you see why that makes sense if we just put a 4 here it would be 274 and that's way way different from the answer I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com there really is nothing else to this little guy uh, just practice it uh, you'll find that it's very very easy to do file it away to memory and just add the second digit to the number 25 and then you square the second digit you stick those numbers together it's a really rapid way to get ahead on any of your exams or anytime you need to square numbers in the 50s.